welcome to video two of the no buy year. So in this one, I'm going to introduce a second concept into my plan for the year, which is live deep, not wide. And this is a concept that comes from a blog called raptitude.com. And it, it talks about how when we accumulate lots of things, we don't have the time to sit and enjoy each one. It's a fairly simple concept. But it really struck me because I had been teaching um, elements of creative writing in my work. And we had talked about the principles of verticality and horizontality. So horizontality is that um, all these kind of fast plot moves to create suspense and drive you through so that you really want to know what's happening next and that verticality is digging down into a character and creating atmosphere and feeling and mood and, and meaning and when the two work together you have magic and when they're separate you can either have something like Fast and Furious 8 or you can have a art house movie in which you watch someone stare out of a window for an hour and a half and it might be beautifully filmed but it's a bit turgid. So that got me thinking about the way that I was living my life and I'm really turning everything into Fast and Furious 8. What's next? What's next? Feed me more. Let me have the next one. I've got a number of unread books. I have all kinds of things that I've just scratched the surface of that I've spent, yeah, I've, I've, I've maybe spent 20 minutes looking at a book that took somebody a year, two years, three years or more to write. So I'm not giving things my full attention. And what that means is that you're living superficially as well. So it's more than just about saving money and not falling for the get into to debt loop. It's, it's really about how we live and self-investigation. And it ties in beautifully as well with my light motive of 2018, which was the Jungian quote, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. And I began to be aware of all the subconscious programs that were just running and that I was acting upon and without even being aware of it. Why did I walk that way to work? Why did I choose that thing to eat? Why did I go to that store and, and buy that item? All of these things have roots. And when we're not aware of what is nourishing those roots or what those roots are made of, we're not in full control. We're not acting at a free will. We're just walking along, reproducing automatic behaviors. And if you are sublimely happy in your life, you probably don't feel like digging down into that. But if you're not, then it's really worth checking out. And you certainly can't change anything if you don't know how you work. So these are my two big drivers, I think, going forward. Now, obviously there is um, a financial element of that and because I want to start swapping out things for experiences because the experience a thing gives me is so brief and ephemeral, even though the object itself may be very durable. Um, and conversely, the experience may be ephemeral, but the, the memory or the change that it wrought in, in me may be durable. So we, t we have tendency to, to simply accept that our, um, our leisure activity is going to be consuming. Where does it come from? So I'm only on day four, so I'm not suffering, but I am going to make more videos where I talk about things that I've learned and the things that I've also done instead of the shopping and where I've put my money instead of into the cash desk of some cheap apparel company. So I hope you'll stay with me. Bye.